Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a uh, somewhat natural looking sail for a ship uh, using a shader. So for this I'm going to be using Amplify Shade Editor, but I'm sure you could use uh, Shader Graph as well. Let's get started. So I'm going to start off by uh, making the mesh for the sail. So just create a plane, rotate 90 on the X, move it up one unit. Double it on the X uh, axis. So just make a basic uh, sail shape. Uh, that should do. Select everything and subdivide a few times. And we're done. Uh, just make sure that the uh, UV is the square. Because our um, the mask that we're going to be using in Unity is a square texture. Um, so all you have to do now is export FPX and make sure this is ticked and just export. Now back in Unity, uh, we're going to need two textures. One is a texture for your sails. So here I'm just uh, using a checker pattern. And the next is a mask. So uh, this is going to help us with our vertex uh, displacement. So it's just uh, black on the corners here. So what this is going to do is uh, keep the corners anchored where they are while moving the rest of the sail. Let's head to the shader. Uh, what we're doing is doing some vertex displacement uh, just to get the basic shape of the sail and then adding some Voronoi on top of that to simulate it flapping in the wind. This is a very simple setup for this Voronoi texture. Um, all we're doing is getting some input from the inspector and pumping it into this uh, Voronoi node to change its properties. I'll explain what the seed is um, a bit later on. Before getting into vertex displacement, uh, we need to know what a couple of these inputs are doing. So the sail wind level is how full the sail is. So I'll just show you that um, the effect of that property. Basically, how much wind is in the sail. And the sail fill percent is something that I use uh, in code to control the sail wind level. So instead of knowing this value in code, all I have to do is set 100% or 0%. Now we send all the values, so the Voronoi, the sail wind level, and the mask into this function along with this flapping direction, which is uh, controls which direction the um, sail will flap. So is it forwards and backwards, left to right, up and down? Um, I'll show you the effect of this input a bit later on. Let's have a look at this sail function. What we're doing is uh, filling the sail in our desired direction. So we just multiply the sail wind level with the forward direction and then multiply that by the mask. And so what the mask is doing is making sure that the corners don't move while we do the vertex uh, displacement. And there's a gradual transition from black to white as we go towards the center. So the center has the most um, displacement. This gives us a pretty even looking um, sail. There should be no jagged edges um, during the transition. So this branch up top here gives us the uh, the base shape and we want to add some flapping on top of that to make it seem more natural. So we do the same with the um, panning Voronoi. So we just multiply that by the forward direction because we want our sail to flap forwards and backwards. Uh, you could do it side to side as well, but for this I'm just doing the forward direction. And then we add that to the base um, shape of the sail. And then we output. So that's what uh, we register here and then we just plug it in to the um, 
vertex offset and the albedo into the albedo. Just to show you the effect of what the mask is doing, I'll just uh, remove it. And now, as we increase and decrease the sail wind level, we see the entire uh, mesh is moving forwards and backwards. Um, but as soon as we put the mesh back on, so the black parts are not, so the black parts of the mesh are not being moved as much as the white parts. So this gives us a good um, natural looking sail. Now I want to show you what the flapping direction of the forward vector is doing in the input. So if we have a look at these sails up here, the forward direction is the z-axis, or the direction where we want the um, displacement to happen. But if we have a look at this sail down here, it's facing in a different um, direction, but it's still being offset in the z-axis. That's something we don't um, we might not want for all our sails, so we can just duplicate this uh, material, set the forward direction to 1 on the x-axis, and then put that material on this sail, and now it's um, getting filled up in the correct uh, axis. Now at this point you might notice something a bit weird. So if we go into orthographic, we can see that uh, they all move in the exact same way, which doesn't look uh, too good. So we could change this by um, changing this Voronoi Seed property. So I've got uh, three groups of sails, top, bottom and the rear. Um, so I'll need three different materials. So I'll just assign this new one to the bottom and change its seed value to let's say 1000 and change the rear material seed as well, say 1500. And now if we have a look, they're not exactly the same anymore. Um, but the ones within the group are still moving in the same way. So you could uh, split these um, sails into individual sails just to get a bit more variation. And that should be it. So just uh, play around with these panning speed values, strength, and scale, and smoothness to get the look you want. Thanks for watching.